So I just got the Rurock RG1 DX Magma color helmet in XL slash XXL because I have a big head. Now let's uh, let's open this baby up. This box is actually shipped from the UK. I have to actually spend about $27 in shipping for it to ship here. So whatever price that you see at $27 to ship to the United States. This is just a standard box. Nothing too fancy about it. I think it's kind of cool. Comes with, with a little carrying bag here. A little pamphlet. Let's have some stickers. This is pretty cool. The stickers on your skateboard, your face wherever you want to put it. Survival guide, I don't know what this is. Okay, it's just a bunch of uh, instru instructions telling me how to set things up. Some Velcro uh, stickers. Not sure what this is for yet, but this is in here. And then a helmet shaped, I think this is a beer opener slash keychain. Key All right, it's time for the helmet. Now, I got this helmet for $99 on their Black Friday sales. So it's actually a pretty good deal for $99 considering how it's always been going for about $300. This version that I got is the 2019 version. Uh, the difference between the 2019 version and the 2020 version is the integrated, is the integrated sound system, which uh, 2019 has does not have I already like this color already as you can see it's not a bright red this is like a matte finish a matte red and it's also kind of dark only the only the shade that like only the area that is directly under the sunlight is red and then it goes into like this dark crimson color and then completely black towards the end. So it gives this helmet some sort of uh, depth and contrast. Pretty cool. All right. Helmet's got this um, GoPro mount. It's got a lot of ventilations, really good ventilation system. And this to snap on your and padding, more padding that's included. So some extra padding for you. Take a look at this. Visors. I don't know how I feel about the visors. Sometimes I think visors look good, sometimes they don't look so good. Let me just clip that on. And here is the mouse piece. The most controversial part of uh, this entire thing. It seems to be sturdy. Kind of. Don't go too fast on this. I think all you gotta do is to just push this in there. And then you hear this click sound. Same thing here. And then you hear this click sound. Great. pretty good right now. So I e skate and snowboard. This will be my snowboarding helmet as well. And then my e skate helmet when I'm going slow. Slow as in under 25 miles per hour, which I usually tend to stay under. And then there's this the goggles. I also use this snowboarding as well. So I'll be doing a full review of this helmet. Uh, make sure you guys tune in. I'm going to be doing a full review for e-skating as well as snowboarding. 
and um, it's got films on it. We can remove that. Oh. This looks like it's going to be hot in the summer. So, but fortunately, it's winter for me, and uh, it's going to be great. Another thing is, I do wear glasses. Let's see if these fits my glasses. They kind of don't fit my glasses, but then my glasses are really wide since my head is wide. So if you have smaller glasses, um, I, I think they may be able to fit. Now let's put these on the helmet and see how it looks. Okay, does this look right? No? Okay, doesn't look right. Look at that. Look at this helmet. Beautiful. All right, this is great. For 99 bucks. Definitely really, really good. 